there's one very in- interesting incident that happened with the Qutub Minar. There was an earthquake and some of the ca- casing that is the calligraphy fell down and it was put back again. And Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan when he's writing in 1846 says that these people who ever put it up are so ignorant because they've just put together pieces without realizing the, that this is a particular sentence or a word. So the calligraphy was uh, not understood by them. The Grand Alai Darwaza, which serves as the gateway to Delhi's iconic Qutub Minar and the Quwatul Islam Mosque, recounts tales of India's rich heritage. We have to look at heritage. This is a continuous process. It is not that we are doing it first time. It is a continuous process. As soon as it is damaged, as soon as it is required, we monitor it and conservation it. Like the Qutub Minar, the Qutub Minar, The Archaeological Survey of India has been striving for the past two years to conserve each and every part of this historical monument. Welcome to Press Insider, my name is Shireen and this is the Qutub Complex. The Qutub Complex is the first complex that was developed by the uh, Delhi Sultans, the slave dynasty, um, when they started, uh, when they defeated uh, the Chauhans and uh, started rule, established their rule in Delhi. You see, every ruler of the slave dynasty has come and added something, and in fact, the last addition is by the uh, Lodis uh, on the Qutub Minar. Dr. Praveen Singh, the superintending archaeologist at the Archaeological Survey of India, along with his team, has been looking after the monuments within the Delhi Circle. Dr. Singh and his team have just started the restoration and conservation work on the Alai Darwaza, which is a crucial part of the Qutub complex. Now, Alai Darwaza is where you can see the Akhwet technology. This is uh, probably the first true dome of uh, India. And this uh, is very profusely decorated, the Alai Darwaza. And uh, we see a very sophisticated uh, style here of calligraphy as well as of the architecture. Here you can see three or four styles. एक ये है, एक ये है, एक ये है, एक ये पांच पांच में different different patterns हैं बनाए हुए हैं। तो जहाँ जहाँ जो missing होगा, जैसे ये पूरा तीन दो आर्चिस बहुत सुंदर आ रही हैं, लेकिन ये आप स्टोर में देखोगे पर्टिकुलर पूरा missing है। तो इस पर्टिकुलर पत्थर को सपोर्ट करके इसमें अंदर पूरा डिजाइन बनाके इसमें लगाएंगे। तो डिपार्टमेंट पुरानी चीजों को, पुराने स्ट्रक्चर को, पुराने पत्थर को, पुराने आर्टिजन को यूज़ करते हुए हम लोग करें। So the the ASI policy is as is various that they will intervene only to stop further deterioration, but they will not replace or rest or restore. They will not make it new or build it back into the original shape that it was. So this will basically be to for structural repairs and to make sure that the casing and the calligraphy does not fall down. देखेंगे तो इसमें राइट साइड में और लेफ्ट साइड में तो कुछ कैलिग्राफिकल स्क्रिप्ट का चल रहा है वो हम नहीं छूते हैं नॉर्मली कैलिग्राफी में गलतियां होने की संभावना होती है इसलिए उसको छोड़ के आप जब देखोगे कोई भी पार्ट जो जितना जितना पार्ट मिसिंग है उतने ही उतने पार्ट उसी शेप में चेंजेस किए गए हैं इसके लिए हम लोगों ने स्पेसिफिक पर्टिकुलर माइंड से ही चीज़ें लेके आते हैं और पर्टिकुलर कोशिश करते हैं आर्टिजिशन जो इसके कलाकार हैं वो भी पर्टिकुलर वहीं से हैं जैसे अभी अब हमारी जो टीमें ये शायद मकराना से ये लोग आए हुए हैं और दे हैव डन वे एक्स्ट्रॉडनरी गुड वर्क now there's one very in, in, uh, interesting incident that happened. There was an earthquake and some of the ca- casing that is the calligraphy fell down and it was put back again. And Sir Sayyid Ahmad Khan when he's writing in 1846 says that these people who ever put it up are so ignorant because they've just put together pieces without realizing the, that this is a particular sentence or a word. So the calligraphy was uh, not understood by them. So anybody who's restoring calligraphy has to also have or their supervisor because workers would not have but the supervisors have to have knowledge of Arabic and uh, Alai Darwaza also has Persian inscriptions on it. So somebody has to have that uh, knowledge to know which piece goes in where. Archaeology is in archaeology and we work with 
लेकिन आज की जो समय चल रहा है उसमें इतना समय दिया नहीं जाता या मिल नहीं पाता है कि हम माइंस पे जाके आर्टिजन को लाके उतना टाइम कंज्यूमिंग टाइम में वो काम करें लेकिन फिर भी फॉर्चुनेटली ना फिर कुछ लोग कर रहे हैं जिसमें दिल्ली सकिल शायद है कि जो हम लोग उस हिसाब से काम कर रहे हैं जिसके लिए ऐसा इस्टेब्लिश हुआ था so the biggest challenge is that you have to use the same material that were used then we didn't have so the asi the material that they use are not only just asi all conservators all over the world they use a, a lime plaster mix which allow a building to breathe cement does not so that is why these buildings last for centuries whereas a cement building wouldn't even last more than 80 80 years और उसमें थोड़ा टाइम कंज्यूमिंग है टाइम लगता है आर्टिजेशन का टाइम लगता है पत्थर का टाइम लगता है तो वी विल डू दैट एज पर दर आर्कोलॉजिकल वर्क को हम लोग काम करते हैं ताकि इसकी एस्थेटिक वैल्यू खत्म नहीं हो और ये डैमेज भी ना हो और अपनी पुरानी चीज़ों के उसमें स्वरूप में आता जाए धीरे धीरे